I tried to beat Super Mario as 10 different characters to see if anyone was better than the Italian Dream himself. Though this is a Super Mario game, 8 out of the 10 characters we're playing today are going to be from entirely different franchises, coming with their own skill sets, movement options, and occasional disadvantages that are so bad, I want to break my controller in half. So is Mario really the best man for the job, or will he rank below a literal marine? Let's go find out. First up, we have Mario. I mean, this game was literally made for him, so of course he's gonna be above average, right? Let's see how we do. Let's do it with Mario first. If I can't beat it with Mario, then that means I'm ass. Kill him. We're doing the classic world one too. Uh. Dude, how did I almost die there? Dude, this guy is a little bit faster. What? I, I'm supposed to be able to make that. Dude, I am going slower. I am going slower than I ever have in my life. Oh my goodness! If you just don't include anyone who's good at this game, I'm probably the best. Oh god. My skills, they're coming back. I'm a goat. Oh, f dude, I was popping off. I was doing so good. My goodness. Okay. I didn't even touch the. Thank god there's continues. But I gotta go to 8 1, bro. Come on. That's so. Bro, if I get another game over, that's a wrap. I'm giving myself a three game over limit. Okay, we're popping off, we're popping off, yes. Bro, the fucking missile! If I jumped on it, I would have died. Please, bro, please, please, stop! Why is he spacing me like that, bro? Okay. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Mario Zero completes. We're done with Mario. After my three game over limit, I wrap it up and give Mario an L. Though Mario is supposed to be good at this, I'm gonna put him right in the middle, C tier, because he's kind of useless without a power up. I mean, sure, he could still jump on most enemies, but in World 8, there's not a lot of power ups to go around. And needing to play perfectly relies more on the player being good versus Mario being equipped. So we can't really rank Mario high if he's so basic. If that's the case, let's just put me in there. I'm sure I would do fine trying to leap over a 20 foot long pit of death. Okay, not really, my vertical kinda sucks. Next up we have Luigi, who plays exactly like Mario, except he jumps way higher. How much higher you ask? Well let's go find out. As we all know, Luigi is better than Mario is. Oh! Oh, this boy got some wings on him! Dude, Luigi, you gotta stop jumping so high, my G. Oh no! Oh my god, I did that backwards! Alright, this is gonna be so easy peasy as Luigi. Oh, Boris! No, it's not. I thought he was just gonna be better Mario, but he isn't Mamma Mia. And s I feel like playing it as Luigi is kind of a detriment. It's so hard to do these movements as Luigi. It's genuinely so difficult. I, like, I just, I'm tapping the button there. He's just so hard to control because you lose all of your control once you're in the air. Yeah, I'm Luigi. Well. It's the turtles have big yes. hitboxes, dude. Okay, Luigi, hug the top, but don't get too overzealous, my G. My Luigi, am I right, gamers? Oh, sh oh. <laughs> These turtles are good at what they do. All right, Luigi, slow it down, sir. Oh, oh! I didn't have the speed! Luigi never forgets leg day. He just forgets everything else day. This about yeah. to all legs. He would just have to kick you. And that's it. That's a wrap. The top half of your body is flying off! Are the Mario Bros really the sh? Oh. Is your whole sh? Oh. Okay, that was on me, but you know what? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, believe it or not, jumping higher is actually not good. Besides dodging enemies and projectiles, being in air is a bad thing because you kind of lose control of your character. Also, my muscle memory from trying to speedrun this game a couple months ago did me no favors. Because short hops that Mario could pull off would unfortunately lead Luigi to an early grave. We sadly don't get to the end as Luigi either. And besides that, he suffers from the same issues that Mario does does in being way too weak and fragile without a power up. So Luigi goes into D tier. This ain't your game, little bro. How about you go back to the NBA where you belong? 
Next up, we got Link from The Legend of Zelda. Now we could start our challenge for real. He has a sword that he could use to attack enemies with, and it also shoots a projectile when he gets a fire flower, which is pretty cool. He also has a boomerang, which stuns enemies, and of course, bombs which I never learned how to use, so we won't talk about those again. My favorite part, however, is that he has his downward aerial attack from Super Smash Bros. So technically, he can jump on the heads of enemies exactly like a Mario brother, but it does take him two hits to do it. Making it take two hits kinda sucks, but it looks way cooler, and honestly, that's all that counts. Dude, yeah, dude, Link is ready. Cool, I got a boomerang now? F yeah, dude. Oh, I can pick up the ball. Oh, he has his downward spike, baby! Huge. Now, let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh my god, that is broken. Dude, that is so sick. I'm so cracked. Snipe him! Let's go! Come here, you bastard! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna snipe this guy. Oh! I lose my ability because I got hit. I got too overzealous, and because of that, this man disrespected me. Dude! Dude! I'm telling you guys, it's a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Maybe not good, or maybe great the situation we're in. Oh my god! His f he's so good. He's so good at what he does. All right. We fail on Link. Even though we never made it to Bowser, I'd have to put Link in B tier. Sure, he's a little bit slower with smaller jumps, but he's just so much more equipped to deal with enemies in every stage of the game. He also stays small when you power him up, which makes dodging enemies that much easier. However, the best part of his kit, which can't be understated enough, is his aerial maneuverability. Yeah, two big words. Jumping as a Mario brother is the same as getting in an Uber. It's too late. You're committed. You're going where you're going, and sure, you can complain, but you already spent the money. Link, on the other hand, can just turn around whenever he wants, which makes this game way easier. His biggest flaw is how short his range is on his standard sword attack, but it's still significantly better than not having anything at all. And sure, I didn't make it to the end, but everything up until this point was way easier, except for one massive problem, or I guess two. Link's sword didn't deal damage damage to these two enemies. The shelled guy is kind of annoying, but you don't really see him around that much. The bullet bills, on the other hand, are a serious problem because whenever you see these guys, they come in gangs. And it's already hard enough to dodge them as is. But now that they're practically invulnerable, it's just a pain in the ass. And I hope that them being invulnerable isn't going to be a reoccurring theme, because if it is, we're going to have some serious problems. Next up, we got Samus. Samus is so far the weirdest character in the group. She's a lot slower, constantly has a projectile available, which is kind of broken, and she's also much, much taller. She is in fact so tall that her crouching animation is the size of Big Mario. And in order to crouch under projectiles, you have to go into ball mode, meaning I have to press the down button not once, but twice. As a gamer, we call this extra button press cardio. <laughs> Also, her powered up form gives her missiles which go much further and give her a lot more damage. And her fire flower makes her normal gun into a wave shooter, which can actually pierce through walls. But is it enough to finally get us a W? Samus is too tall, bro. This is not good. I have to crouch. Uh -huh. What is this? Come into my tornado of death, sir. You're done. We're so good. We're not as fast as Mario, but who cares? We're safer and we look good doing it. No! Oh, Samus, you're big ass. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was sick. I turned into a ball to dodge that shit midair. Oh, we did it! We did it, chat! Ah! Let's go!
Though she was a lot different to control, with a little bit of luck and a lot of bit of missiles, we actually got through the game, securing our first W. I also killed Bowser with my last missile, so we were that close to not making it through. It's very hard to rate how good Samus is because she's clearly a lot better than Link is at dealing with enemies, but she's significantly more awkward when it comes to maneuverability. Having to press the down button twice is a tall order when there's so many missiles flying at you to blow your torso off your body. But besides that, she's well equipped for almost every single situation, making our Metal Mommy the first character to hit A tier. Yeah, better than Link. Sorry little man, but maybe we could talk once you replace one of your arms with a Gatling gun. Now we got Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series. Yeah, right? What the hell is he doing here? Simon is a mixed bag. He's slower than everyone else by a pretty large margin. He's also relatively tall, which is awful because he's gonna be catching hits like an outfielder for the New York Mets. His attack is this weird garbage whip that deals negative damage unless you power it up. And he also gets to throw an ax, which is strong, but way harder to hit by a large margin. It does help with Lakitu though, who is essentially much harder than Bowser in most of these runs. The biggest difference in Simon's movement options are his double jump, which is incredibly overpowered. Or at least it would be if the bastard didn't walk like he was moving in molasses. Also, his single jump is lower than my confidence in his abilities. But maybe he's not that bad? Okay. Alright, I got axes. This feels horrendous. He doesn't even jump high. Oh, how am I supposed to get? Oh, he has a double jump. Oh, that's nutty. All right, well then if I have a double jump, this is gonna be a piece of cake, right? I gotta do some weird here. Please. Oh, the double jump clutch play. Judging by the double jump. What is that? He never stopped. <laughs> me, son of a bitch. me, dude. What the? F it's it's uh, it's. This is our last continue on him too, right? We already got another continue. What am I doing, bro? Dude, that double jump is so clutch, but Bowser's impossible. I managed to get to the end multiple times and I even got to face Bowser. But with no speed, barely any range, and hardly any power-ups, I have no clue what the hell Simon is supposed to even do here. But still, getting to the end at nearly every single attempt has to count for something, so I guess we'll put him in the very bottom of B tier. Next up we got one of my favorites and I don't know how he keeps ending up in my videos. I'm of course talking about Mega. Mega Man, who on paper is the best character so far. He's small, he's agile, he has a projectile that has actual range, and when it's powered up, it turns into a charge shot that goes through walls and does decent damage. The Fire Flower also unlocks one of his classic abilities, which is just kind of fun. All right. Oh, his bullets go full screen. Cool. Oh, he gets his charge shot, and his charge shot goes through things. Oh, and, he, and his charge shot deals so much damage, bro. Okay. The issue with him is his jump is incredibly low. The turtles are tanky, so that could be a big f***ing issue later. Oh, no. The beginning of the end, huh? It's, it's, the section is just impossible. Like, it, it's genuinely not, like, I don't know how you're supposed to do this section. 63 seconds, come on, baby. We're good. Unless this mother dolls me out! What the f God damn it! How, how do you, oh no. Mega Man can't even make the jump! He literally can't make it! There's a guy who did it and he got to Bowser. How do you get the fucking dog? Do I have to preload the dog? I guess we'll do modern power up mode.
Holy sh! <sighs> Holy sh! Dude, he's getting nuts! Brutal! What a nightmare! So technically speaking, I did beat Bowser on my second attempt, but that first attempt didn't count. Come on! We're gonna consider Mega Man our first perfect W. Mega Man is just great. He doesn't really have a lot of flaws, and in turn can deal with just about anything relatively easily, making him a very powerful A tier. Plus, he's a robot, so if he's ever feeling some human guilt about shooting a turtle in the mouth, he can just turn it off. I wish I had more to say about Mega Man, but I don't. Moving on. Base is just basically Mega Man on steroids. Everything Mega Man can do, Base can do a lot better. He has an auto fire machine gun, he can shoot in multiple directions, and he comes with a double jump. This man is so well equipped for every situation that I would trust him as the president. What is the difference between these two guys? Oh no, he, he does a triple shot instead. Oh, this guy just has a machine gun, what the hell? And he has a double jump? And he can shoot in eight directions? What the f Dude, he's just better Mega Man, what the hell? This is ridiculous. This guy's cracked. I feel like that dash tackle is a, is a bait. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have fucking trusted the dash. I knew it. Every bone in my body was saying, don't do it, Scooch. And what did I do? I did the fucking dash. Oh, but he doesn't shoot through walls. There you go. That's what um, Mega Man has on him. What the f Double shot? Holy sh! If it weren't for that double jump, that would have been brutal. You're done, Buster. Oh, let's go! Huge, dude! Yes! We beat it! As both the Mega Men, if the person can shoot, they're very good. Yeah, without any surprises, Base makes it to the end in no time at all. I thought Mega Man was overpowered, but Base made him look like a Mega Boy. <laughs> Capcom, I, I think you invested in the wrong sentient robot. This character has to be the best by far, making him our only S tier. Next up, we have Ryu. Hayabusa. He's fast, his attacks actually deal damage even though they're pretty short ranged, and the most weird thing about him is that he could just stick to walls. It may sound like it's helpful, but it's actually kind of a hindrance. Like there's no time in this game ever that you need to stick to a wall, so you just awkwardly end up sticking to things that you're trying to get over. Getting a mushroom gives him a cool spinning aerial attack when he's midair, and a fire flower gives his sword even more range. Range. Oh, and he has a range shuriken, which makes him more well-rounded, even though he's a little funky. All right. That's actually pretty f***ing annoying that he sticks to walls. At least, oh, at least he one-shots things. Now my sword is better? That's sick. That's crazy. When you have the sword upgrade, he also uh, gets a bigger, a bigger slash. And he has aerial mobility. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. It didn't let me stick to the wall. Ugh. I mean, we're already at Bowser, but now here's the big problem. How the f are we going to get through Bowser? He's zoning me. Oh, my last shuriken. That was my last one. Holy sh Dude, that was sick, dude. Ryu is such a different character that it's hard for me to rank him. He's not as good as Mega Man, but significantly better than Link in almost every situation. He kind of controls a little too awkward for my taste, but he makes up for it by being so well-rounded. However, he's definitely not as good as Mega Man or Base for that matter, but still way better than Link, so I'll put him at the top of B tier. Next up is by far are the most complicated character on this list. Sophia Third from Master Blaster. Now this character is a tank. Like, like literally, it's just a f***ing tank. <laughs> Sophia is significantly better than every other character, and it's also kind of a combination of what makes them all so good. It has range, it has aerial maneuverability, it's small, it shoots triple rockets, take that, Samus. Why you bull- It can hover midair, heck, it can even climb up walls when it's powered up. Master Blaster. I hope she doesn't suck, bro. Okay, she sucks. Oh, she can shoot upwards. That's good for uh, my boy Lakitu. What is this? 
Okay, cool. I got to hover now. Oh, never going to have to use that, but that's awesome. Holy sh That was very close, but we made it. Got it. We're good. And I killed him. That hover is so crazy. Repositioning in the air like that is bananas. Oh, what the hell is this? She has a fucking water mode. Dude, I talked all that about you. Okay, she sucks. I am so sorry. This is my favorite character ever. Oh! I don't even have my hover anymore, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Holy sh! And it's a frog? Is the story really that Jason's looking for his frog? That's awesome, I guess. Yeah, as expected, Sophia gets through this game very easily. In fact, I think Sophia is significantly better than Base, who was already in S tier. It has no flaws, and it's as small as any character can get. And for these reasons, I'll say that Sophia is by far the best character on our list. So I guess it's gonna go into S3 tier, which stands for Sophia the third. Finally, we've gotten to our last character. A character that I specifically saved for last because he is by far the worst one on the list. Bill Riser is a walking piece of human garbage. He's taller than everyone, he can't move while he's crouching, and he always has to be going in a direction while he's midair. I mean, you can turn, but he just ends up going from 20 miles per hour in one direction to the other. He could shoot in multiple directions, but it's impossible to aim because he always has to be moving. And finally, the worst part of his entire kit, unlike every single other character that we played, getting a mushroom or a fire flower does not give Bill Riser an extra hit. It just gives him a new gun. And half of the guns you can get aren't even better than the original gun he starts with. Also, it's random, so you can't can't do anything to choose the good guns. So while dealing with his awkward jumping, his lanky body, and his stupid power-ups, Bill Riser is always one hit away from death. Meaning I have to play nearly perfectly on a significantly worse character to even have a shot at this. This is gonna be so fun and not tilting at all. Look at this. It's so weird that I have to crouch to shoot. Laser, not bad. What am I doing, bro? What am I doing? What am I doing? I have no f***ing clue. Nice little obstacle course. Like, why did it turn around? Did you see it turn around? Yeah, f*** off. Nice! Perfect! Physically impossible. Guys, I'm telling you, you cannot beat this game as f Bill Riser. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That was the hardest fucking thing I have ever done in my life. This character stinks. All right, this part should be fucking super easy for Bill. Come on, bro. Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. That would have been the most tilting thing ever. Holy shit, we're here. Oh, oh. If I didn't make that jump... Oh! Oh my god! That was the hardest thing I have ever done! That was f***ing miserable. Thank f god I don't have to lock in Bill Riser ever again. I was wondering who he was gonna save. It's f***ing player two? Come on, bro. I'm sure this isn't a surprise to you, but that was one of the most tilting things I have ever done. I hated Bill so much that I don't think an F would suffice. He doesn't belong on the bottom layer of the tier list. He belongs in the bottom layer of hell. <laughs> and maybe when he's down there, he'll find some of the people who made Disney Speedstorm. A kart racing game with the most aggressive gotcha monetization I have ever seen in my life. Don't believe me? Click the video on the screen and be as disappointed as I was. Love ya!